Fireball is in hot water. Mini bottles. The story makes me so mad I'm going to have a hard time getting through it. Many bottles of the famous cinnamon whiskey beverage have been popping up in supermarkets and gas stations across the country. And you're like, they can't sell booze, but yum. But look closely. There's no whiskey to be found inside. A new lawsuit claims Fireball's producer, Sazerac, is misleading customers by selling a malt-based beverage called Fireball Cinnamon. Oh, how weird. A nearly identical label to the original whiskey. Newsflash. People who are buying this at gas stations probably already drunk. They're not going to look closely. And of course, malt can be very dangerous for people like me who have celiac disease and cannot tolerate malt products. Will Sazerac have to pay up, Buttercup? I certainly hope so. Joining me to discuss the attorney taking Fireball to task, Spencer Sheehan. Spencer, welcome to the show. Thank you, Kennedy, for having me. When was this brought to your attention and how disgusted were you? Well, this was brought to my attention last fall. I regularly get contacted by people with issues about uh, consumer fairness and labeling. And I had actually seen the fireballs myself. And once this person brought it to my attention that there wasn't any whiskey in here, I was at first skeptical. But at the, you know, the time when I learned a little bit more about it, it was pretty shocking to me. Yeah, no, and they label it with natural whiskey and other flavors. When you say with natural whiskey, that sounds like natural whiskey. It doesn't sound like a whiskey flavor. So uh, that is some very slippery language they're using. And they do look identical, but it is not an identical product. Has anyone else approached you who has a malt intolerance, who has consumed Fireball, and who was made very colonically miserable, as I was? Uh, yes. Yes, Kenny, that's actually been one of the main areas that people have been contacting me about. And they brought that to my attention because I was unaware that there was a difference, even though malt and whiskey might come from the same sort of source. There's a difference with the distillation. Malt beverages are not distilled. Causes... They are not distilled to remove right. proteins the way whiskey is. Look, that's that's exactly what I've heard. And many people not only were misled by buying something that they thought were, was whiskey, but they were misled because it upset their stomach and yeah. it was inconsistent with yeah. the diet they consumed. It causes, so if you have celiac like I do, which sucks, and there's, I don't care what anyone says, there's no cure for it. Uh, if, if you introduce a gluten-containing product into your body, you have an autoimmune reaction. That means your body attacks itself. Your body should only attack itself when you're drinking Fireball, when you're attacking the toilet with your projectile vomit because of alcohol intake choices that you have made. Not because Fireball is a bunch of scam artists and now they can sell their item willy-nilly. It's not the same thing. They should label it differently and we should be con compensated handsomely. I would, I would like a Lamborghini. Is that too much to ask? I don't think it's uh, too much to ask for, for anybody to get compensated, whether or not any of us will get Lamborghinis. That's uh, to be decided, but we certainly can start with accurate and non-deceptive labeling. Yeah, well, I have to tell you something, and I haven't shared this on TV before. When I was in youth legislature, when I was a sophomore in high school at Lake Ridge High School, home of the Pacers, uh, my legislative partner, Alex Tilson, and I sponsored a bill about honesty and food labeling. So I have to say, for the better part of 35 years, this has been my life's passion. And whatever you're giving us, just be honest with us about what's in there. That's all we ask. Me and Alex Tilson, he's probably mortified that I'm on a more conservative network, but he can suck it up and maybe join the lawsuit as well, Spencer. Well, that sounds like something I can certainly get behind, Kennedy. Thank Excellent. you. Well, I look forward to working with you in the future. I think $5 million, way too low. I think there are more of us out there. We have been harmed. We have been aggrieved. I'm not one to sue people. I don't think I ever really have. Threatened it a few times. My dad was a lawyer. But, uh, Spencer, I'm on board, so let's do this. Well, thank you so much, Kennedy. Mm -hmm. I'll make sure to get your information down and... Hopefully we'll have some success. All right. Big checks and big butts. That's what we're all about. Spencer, thank you very much for your time.